And don't mind this jacket, guys. I, I don't know, for some reason, like, I feel really, really cold in here. But anyways, um, let's get right into this video. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is very, very important. Some people might think it's shallow, but trust me. When you look good on the outside, you will look good on the, on the inside. And when you look good in the inside and you feel better in the inside, guess what? Your confidence is going to shine through. I'm talking about pampering yourself. That's number one. You have to pamper yourself. Even if you don't like doing girly, feminine things, get a wax. Get your eyebrows waxed. Get, you don't even have to get a Brazilian wax, bikini wax if you don't want to do all of that. But I'm just saying, on your outer appearance, make sure that you're always looking good and you're always smelling good, okay? That's two very important things because when you're looking good and you're smelling good and you 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 basically pamper yourself, you're keeping yourself up, you're getting your nails done, you have your lashes on, you're doing your makeup, you're doing your hair. I said this in another video and I'm saying it again. Confidence, to get confidence, guys, you have to look good on the outside. I don't care what no one says. I know that when I have a bomb-ass outfit on, I feel ten times better than I normally do. Okay, so take yourself shopping, you know, um, make sure that you get cute, trendy little things, even if it's not cute and trendy. If it's your style and you like it, freak it, wear it, rock it, okay? I salute you. I salute people that, that are different. That's moving on to the next thing. You want to be different. Don't look at Beyonce or Rihanna and say, oh, let me, let me bite off their style. Let me copy everything, everything Rihanna has on. Let me try to find an outfit that looks like Rihanna. No, because Rihanna is who she is and Beyonce is who she is. If they followed other people, they wouldn't be who they are today. They are, you know, original. They don't copy nobody. They're in their own lane. They're living their own truth and their own essence. And people love that about them. And that's why they they're living legends, you know what I'm saying? That's why Rihanna's so iconic because she does whatever the F she wants to, honey. And that's some boss shit right there. Like, if you have the balls enough to live life on your terms, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to fashion, you know, you you go you go above and beyond. Like, you don't stick to what everybody else is doing. And you don't have to. Just because something is not in style don't mean that you don't have to wear it. If you want to wear it, it's you. Go ahead and do you, boo. Because you know what? People's going to look at you like, wow, I like how different she is. Like, people's going to look at you like, wow, I wish I can have her confidence. Because you stepped out and you became, you know, your own self. You're not following the trends. And even if you do follow a trend, you're twisting the style up. You're switching it up. Maybe you're wearing your bomber jacket differently you know with the sleeves up rather than the sleeves down even the littlest things just make sure that you are constantly you know evolving and you're constantly changing your look so you never want to stick to just one boring look that's why me i be doing gray wigs red blonde my natural hair and i love it because i feel like i don't have to stick to being the same old person because once you look once you get used to your look so much and you, you're used to the same boring ass hairstyle you used to you're not gonna feel confident you're gonna feel like uh I'm bland. Like, I feel so bland. Like, I need a change. So, to feed that change, you always got to buy things that are different than what you normally get. You get it? Like, just go out there. If you don't wear wigs normally, go out and get your wig. I promise you, you're going to feel good about yourself. Because I know when I get me a different color wig, can't nobody tell me nothing, sis. And I don't want nobody to tell you anything. So, go out there. Try different hairstyles. Try do, try wear, try wearing clothes that you normally don't wear. That's going to make you feel daring. That's going to make you feel different. That's going to make you feel new, fresh. You know what I'm saying? It's like a it's like you um remixing yourself. You know, remix your whole style, honey. Put a remix on that. Stop wearing the same stuff. If you normally um only wear sneakers, try wearing heels. You know, heels make a woman feel very feminine, very sexy. Try wearing heels, okay? And another thing you want to do to remain confident and to always remain confident is you want to always speak up for yourself. Now, this is very important. A lot of you probably probably going to say, like, what does speaking up for yourself have to do with confidence? It has a whole lot to do, sis. Let me tell you. Because when you speak up for yourself, what do you now have? I can't speak today. What do you now have? 
You have a freaking voice. That's what you have. You know, let people know that you, you're not a wallflower. You have an opinion and you have a voice. If somebody's doing something that you don't like, speak up. You don't, always, you don't have to carry around um, a badass attitude. Just listen. I don't like how this was done. I want this, this, that way. And if, if I can have it that way, then you know what? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just making up an example. But always speak up for yourself. Make your make yourself be known. You know, you ever, um, you have, I know, of course, all of us been in school. You ever you ever see that, that kid in, in class that's very quiet, that when the, the teacher picks on them to answer a question and then um, they're not answering the question or they said, oh, I'm not, I didn't put my, I didn't put my hand up. Like, don't, why are you asking me? Like, I didn't put my hand up. That's. That person is probably not a confident person. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that quiet person in class. You want to be that person that... I'm sorry. My notifications are going crazy. But anyways, you don't want to be that person that's like a wallflower, that doesn't want to be picked, that's scared to, to speak, you know, that's scared to stand in front of a crowd. You are the crowd. Put that in your head. You are the crowd. Every time you step out your house and you encounter any anybody, pretend you're on stage and the world is your audience. So if somebody's saying good morning, hey, good morning, how are you? Okay, smile. That's another thing. Smile. Don't 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 just be so into yourself. A lot of us is introverted. I was an introvert person. To this day, I'm I'd rather be home than going out to the club. But sometimes I push myself to go out because you know, staying in your your house all day can turn you into like a really shy anti social person. You want to get out of your shell, okay? Don't be that class. Don't be don't be that person that that that's with their head down and their hoodie over their head at class because they don't want to be seen. They don't want the teacher picking on them. No, you want to be that person raising your hand. You want to be that person cracking a joke here or two. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you can be serious, but also let people know that you have a sense of humor. That's another thing. Have a sense of humor because. When you have a sense of humor, that shows to people that, wow, I love how she's so confident. I love how she could just cut somebody's ass, like joke on somebody, you know what I'm saying, and can take a joke, you know, herself. Guys like that, other girls like that about you. Perfect example, look at Cardi B. She is a woman that stands in her truth. She doesn't have to sugarcoat who she is for nobody. And that's why she's so successful. Like I said again, that's why Rihanna is successful. That's why Beyonce is. Because they all are mega stars and they're different. They, I can't compare them. Like They're all different. Nicki Minaj, Little Kim. Little Kim is my favorite example. She was a trendsetter. Shout out to my cancers. Yes, Kim was a cancer. Okay, And we are natural born leaders. Leos, a lot of our signs, a lot of the zodiac signs out there, you guys are natural born leaders, so use it. Be a natural born leader. Don't follow what other people is doing and think it's going to work for you. Because if I come in here talking about what's popping, I'm trying to get this money, y'all. Y'all going to be like, this bitch trying to be like Cardi. It's not going to work. I have to come on here and act like me. Love your natural. Bella Bars. You know, I created a, I have two, I have two different personalities that, that lives in me, okay? One side of me is that YouTuber, Love Your Natural, but when I'm on stage rapping, I'm Bella Bars, and I don't try to rap like Cardi, I don't try to rap like Kim, I don't try to rap like nobody but myself. I have my own voice, and I want the world to hear my own voice. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's what I'm working towards. I want people to be like, nah, her, her voice, her music is on a different level. You know what I'm saying? Not to say I'm better than anybody, but everybody's great on a different scale and it's great you know what i'm saying people could probably say you resemble somebody but they'll never say she's trying i'd rather somebody say you resemble a cardi than somebody saying oh you're trying to be like cardi you know what i'm saying you got to be yourself because when you're not yourself people catch on to that and nobody like posers okay so when people see see that you're trying too hard to be liked you know people will catch on that vibe and they wouldn't even want to sit with you they're gonna be like uh, that who that girl thinks she is? She's always trying to be like such and such. Damn, be yourself. You ever hear when people be like, damn, be yourself? That's real. People don't like people that act like other people. You you know what I'm saying? Because those people are those people. All right? So if you want to be confident, definitely find yourself. Find your voice. You know, don't let anybody speak for you. You are your own person, okay? So please, please, um, guys, remember that. Another thing is, because I wrote this down, this is very, very... Thanks for water for this. This is very important, guys. This is something that I do to this day. 
affirmations. If you don't know what an affirmation is, it's basically when you wake up in the morning, get some post-it stamps, right? And post it alongside your mirror. And when you wake up, before you brush your teeth or anything, look in the mirror and say, and say, I am a beautiful black woman or I'm a beautiful whatever 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 race you are. I'm just going to say black woman because I'm a black woman. I am a beautiful black woman. I am a child of God. God loves me. If God is for me, who can be against me? I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay? Even if you're not religious, you could just be like I'm a beautiful I'm a beautiful woman. You know, today I'm going to tackle this task. It's not hard. I can do it because I'm smart. I am strong. I am confident. I'm bold. I'm beautiful. Okay? Whatever you want to achieve in your life, you can with affirmations. So let's say you want to write a book. I, you have to speak life over it. I am a best-selling author of such and such book. Like me, I, I want to be a rapper. My name is... Page, but my rap artist name is Bella Bars, and I am a two-time Grammy winner. Yes, I, I I've been nominated for two Grammys, honey, and I actually won the Grammys. Like, oh my gosh, I I won two Grammys. Even if it seems far-fetched, say that because your mind subliminally will think, damn, that is me. I am that. You have to constantly speak life, speak life into your dreams, into your goals, and when you do that every morning. Your life is going to be different. When you step outside, your world is different. You see life differently. You see life as a best-selling author. You see life as a two-time Grammy-nominated artist. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to want to move like one. I'm going to want to dress like an artist. I want to be everything Bella Bars is. You know what I'm saying? I'm using myself as an example. But let's say you're into art. I am the best-selling artist. I, 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 you know, I, of all times. My, my paintings are in the most elite museums all over New York City or wherever you're from. You can see my paintings. My paintings go for $2.1 million. You know what I'm saying? Even if that hasn't happened yet, it hasn't happened yet. That can happen for you. You got to speak it. And when you speak it, you're going to live it. And in your mind, you're going to think it, breathe it, live it. And you know what? Maybe one day you might be that famous artist, that famous painter. And I'm, maybe, you know what? Y'all could, y'all could probably play this video again if I do actually win a Grammy, you know, later on down the line. You gotta claim it. Claim it and speak it to existence in the name of Jesus. I love God so much and I'm a firm believer in Jesus, okay? So, when you speak things, God is gonna make it come to pass. And then, when you speak these things of you, you're gonna find a new confidence. I'm telling you. So, affirmations is really, really good. Yeah, and like I said before, because I'm a believer in God and I love God so much, that's my last and final, my final advice on having confidence as a woman. Pray. It's so, so simple. Get on your knees, even if you don't know how to pray. You can be like, dear Heavenly Father, God is good, God is great, God that's in heaven watching over me. God, I just want to say I've been lacking confidence. I have low self-esteem. I don't know why. You could cry. Close your door in your room, be in a secluded area, and tell God your deepest, darkest secrets. Because guess what? He ain't going to repeat back your business, and he's going to make you a whole. He's going to make you a better person, a richer person. Not in wealth, but in spirit and in your heart and the way you move. You're going to come, you're going to go into your room like a kitten and come out like a lion. God is your strength, I'm telling you. If you don't have a relationship with God, get into it, sis. You know, you're never too young, you're never too cool, you're never too cute to love God. And when you love God, he will bless you tenfold. I'm telling you, because I, before I got this YouTube channel, I prayed for it. I said, God, I don't know how to edit videos, I don't know how to do it, but I know that my personality belongs on YouTube. Please allow me to have a YouTube. And guess what, guys? Here I am with a freaking YouTube channel, because I had affirmations. I said, this year I'm going to be a YouTuber. This year I'm going to follow my dreams with my music. And this year I have done all of that. In 2018, I'm going to have new affirmations. You know, every year I keep evolving. That's how you're going to keep evolving. You're going to speak it into existence, pray about it, and you're on the right path. And that's all the advice I have for you guys on how to be a confident person. I hope my tips, you know, really help you in real life. And any other question you have for me, comment below. Yes, I do answer my comments. I ain't Hollywood, okay? And I just want to say thank you so much for the like, comment, 
for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. I love you guys. I'm, I'm losing my voice. I love you guys so much. Please join me in another girl talk coming very, very soon. So make sure that you have your notifications on because I'm dropping a new video every day this week. Love you guys.